welcome back to the second part of the divisible silver round. Now, in the first video we showed you the round, and now we're going to show you how we can divide it using a chisel and hammer. Now, there's a couple things you're going to need. First of all, you're going to need a divisible pan or round, and you're going to need a hard surface, whether it be cement or whether it be an anvil like this one, or something really hard to give it a good surface to hit on. Now, the second thing you're going to need is a hammer, of course, and a good chisel, a good sharp chisel, so that it'll cut through easily. The cleaner the cut, the better it's going to look once you're done dividing it. Now, another thing, you're going to want it to be a smooth surface, so the cement or an anvil might have some marks on it, like this one. So you might want a thick piece of cloth, or even just a, a simple piece of cardboard to give it a smooth edge so it won't ding up the back side of the coin. So, let's get started. So we're going to set the cardboard down. And let me stress again, you really need a hard surface, a really hard surface. I don't think a wood table is going to give the stability you need in order to divide this coin. So even concrete, just go find a pad of concrete somewhere and put some card cardboard on it, something smooth, and, and that'll be a good solid surface. So I like to start from the outside and work my way in to the middle of the coin. Now these grooves are set up perfect for a chisel. I mean, the chisel just fits right in there. And give it some good solid taps at the beginning. When we get closer to dividing it, to going all the way through, we'll probably not want to hit it as hard so that the piece of silver doesn't go flying. So when you start to see it split like this, you want to lighten up on the taps, do a lot of smaller, lighter taps, so that, again, the piece of silver doesn't go flying, it doesn't hit anyone, and you don't lose the silver. And then you just keep going from there. Here it's so thin that I can just bend it apart and break it. The nice thing about these divisible rounds is that on each section when you divide it, it says quarter troy ounce and .999 fine silver. That way, when you go to liquidate it or give it to someone, they're going to know exactly what the weight is of the coin and exactly what the purity is.